What's happening YouTube? I am 140 here. Um, just wanted to do a recap video of my epic weekend at TriStar Show. Uh, I set up, uh, I had a few tables at the TriStar Show in San Francisco uh, along with my buddies uh, that I do shows with and um, and I uh, just had a great weekend. It was a really really good show which uh, is you know always nice but um, bought a lot, sold a lot, and just had a, had a really, really good time. Um, from Friday night all the way to le yesterday, uh, it was busy at the show, which is um, on the West Coast isn't always the case. And uh, I just had a, had a you know, what, what made it great for me was the fact that um, I hung out with a lot of YouTubers, just met a lot of new collectors, and, you know, um, I always dig meeting the people more than actually the the buying and the selling and all of that. Although I did was able to pick up some really really epic cards and um, just some really nice cards, so I was happy about that. And uh, also sold a lot of uh, cards too. And it's just always nice when you meet series collectors in there. Um, you know, either they're looking for pro, uh, you know their Super Bowl quarterback PC or their Hall of Fame PC or whatever. Um, it's just always nice to share that um, excitement with them. So it was a great weekend. Um, had a great, great time with YouTubers, uh, 74 Aggie, Min Lovers 2, and uh, Nick's, Nick and his brother, uh, Tony, um, JRed5530 and his family. They were there all weekend, and also Guy of the Cards. Um, and uh, Guy of the Cards was there most of the time. He was busy, um, you know, uh, getting autographs and... and hunting down uh, uh, his PC stuff but uh, had a great time uh, Mike 74 Aggie and Nick and Tony hung out at my booth pretty much um, all day Saturday which was great they used my booth as a home base and then uh, would go out and you know do their thing so it was awesome just hanging out with them we were laughing and kinda of doing whatever the whole time and uh, just it's always cool to hang out with tubers and uh, just really stoked to uh, to meet up with them, and uh, that's really what made the the weekend awesome. So um, really, just wanted to go through what I picked up, and also what I added to my PC, and just all the above. But I was able to get two new Hall of Famers for my Hall of Fame helmet: um, uh, Bob St. Clair, who played for the 49ers, um, all-time legend, and uh, Jim Otto, right here. And I almost actually missed Jim Otto because I was busy doing my thing. And actually, a uh, guy of the cards was like, yeah, we were talking at my table, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Jim Otto when he comes up. And he's all, dude, he's almost done. So I grabbed my helmet, I ran over there, and uh, he was actually getting up to walk out of the building or to walk out of the autograph area. Sat back down, talked to me for a little bit. He was just epic, and the, you know the the old school guys, the uh, OGs, um, they're more apt to sit down and rap with you than the new guys. And uh, it was great. Bob St. Clair was classic, and just had some opinions on uh, today's football players that I thought were great. Uh, he was old school, so uh, definitely a great highlight of the weekend. And then I just wanted to show this. Um, uh, basically, it's a 20 by 30 PSA DNA certified um, Kevin Durant USA Basketball. I think this is kind of a one of a kind, but um, 20 by 30 USA Basketball signed photo. It's on a canvas. It's not a photo. It's basically on a canvas. Um, really, really nice piece and. Uh, I don't do a little, whole lot of basketball, as you guys know, but um, something that I just couldn't pass up, and I uh, just got it certified this weekend, and it's just a really awesome piece. So uh, that's that, and then I just, uh, Nick actually, uh, Min Lovers 2, uh, traded some baseball for some of the football that he's picked up, and uh, he's just a generous guy, and definitely... Um, you know, the trade worked out, I believe, in my favor. Um, he picked up some cards that he wanted, but Nick was way, way, way too generous. So I appreciate that, Nick. I'll put everybody's uh, address down below so everybody has it. Uh, but just going through real quick of, of what we traded, um, I picked up this Pierre Thomas 24 of 25 out of uh, Prime Signatures. 
uh, Reggie Wayne, 25 of 25. Really nice card. This really nice at a National Treasures Joe Flacco Jersey Auto, and this is numbered seven of excuse me seven of ten. Um, Ryan Matthews out of uh, Saturday Signatures Press Pass on card blue ink. Sam Bradford Press Pass, great card, and this Tim Tebow Press Pass Auto on card, great card. So thanks, Nick. Uh, he definitely broke me out. And again, what made the weekend epic was we were hanging out all weekend. It was great. We were cracking up. And by the way, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch his vid. Friday night, he was busting boxes on Friday during the day and didn't do very well. And then he took a couple boxes home and hit a Bryce Harper auto out of 25. Just insane, insane card. Just clean and beautiful. And um, to his recap, vid is awesome. So congrats on that, Nick. And then uh, here I picked up some San Francisco, some 49ers. This is a uh, Steve Young jersey. This really nice Spectrum Auto of Alden Smith. And this is number 23 of 25. Great card. Um, picked this up before the show, but I had it. Uh, longevity, uh, Laundry Tag, Rookies and Stars. This is numbered out of uh, 74. Really nice. Uh, this uh, Frank Gore out of Exquisite 5 of 50, logo, logo, two color patch. Really nice card. This really sick Absolute Heroes, uh, Frank Gore, four color break with breaks, uh, Jersey Patch Auto. This is numbered one of 25. That's a great card. Uh, out of five, Frank Gore, um, Crown Royal, um, one of five. Colin Kaepernick, uh, Elite, and um, J Red 5530 was there with his family, and he had a picture, personal picture with him and and Colin Kaepernick, and he was so cool. He signed it, and uh, they were just stoked. Um, so congrats on that, J Red. And then uh, let's see, um, SPX Kaepernick Jersey Auto, uh, National Treasures Kaepernick. And then I believe this is a short print star rookie uh, out of upper deck and his Nevada uniform. Uh, three color out of limited. Then I picked up this really nice, I bought a lot, and this is was in there, this, uh, I don't know, Atomic. This is 32 of 50, Atomic Chrome Auto. Um, really, really beautiful card. And also in this, concluded in this lot, was the black auto. And that was numbered to 25, uh, black uh, refractor auto. And actually, it was so nice that I'm sending it in for grading. And um, I'm hoping, you know, it comes back. It doesn't matter. But um, I was just, it was just so nice that I just wanted to send it in. I typically don't grade, but I was there with some friends who grade, and they suggested I do it. So I figured, why not? Um, SPX, Candle Hunter. Red Zone. Out of a hundred, Candle Hunter, Chrome, Finest out of uh, 75, Candle Hunter, and then this White Whale, um, Candle Hunter 101 out of uh, Triple Threads. And then uh, some of my non 49er stuff uh, picked up this AJ Green uh, out of 25, three color, really nice one. Uh, this duel out of Inception, 4 of 15, of AJ Green and Julio Jones. Uh, let's see, this Walter Payton, three color, beautiful card, out of Absolute. Uh, and this is number 13 of 25. Beautiful, beautiful card. Pick this up. I know this is a rare one. Uh, this is Newt Rockney out of National Treasures. Uh, I think this is part of his his pants, I believe. Um, and this is numbered 17 of 19. That's a great, great card. Uh, and then some of my auto relics. Pick this up, one of 15, Ed Reed. Barely two colors, got a patch right there. But uh, I don't have a whole lot of Ed Reed, so I wanted to pick him up. 
great card. And then I picked up, I don't want to open it, but five star signature booklet, three piece uh, memorabilia of Darren McFadden. And I believe this is out of 10, out of five star. Um, Hall of Fame autos, uh, Passing the Torch, Donruss Elite, uh, Warren Moon, and this is numbered uh, 28 of 100. Uh, and this really nice 2 of 10 uh, jersey, I'm guessing this is kind of a patch, but it's just one color. Troy Aikman, just really super clean with his 8 inscription, uh, number 2 of 10. Just a beautiful card. And then I picked this up before the show, guys, um, and National Treasures, it, it uh, I picked this up, and I'm just going to hold on to it and see what happens next year. You should be awesome. Um, but it's a laundry tag, National Treasures 101, Sam Bradford. Um, yeah, this is a pretty nice card. Uh, and then I was able to pick up some really nice cam cards and uh, just want to share these. These are just epic. Uh, cam Newton, uh, Sage Auto, out of 39 out of 50. It's a beautiful card. Um, out of uh, gold, I think, gold standard. Uh, cam Newton, two color patch, auto. I like the, the uh, I think this is gray or silver, Sharpie. Uh, this is number two of 325. And then this really nice had a Supreme 50 of 50 one color jersey auto. And this is, yeah, numbered 50 of 50. And then this super, super nice Reebok logo um, out of Absolute. Jersey numbered one of five jersey number. Um, yeah, that's a nice, nice card. So uh, again, I you know I picked up nice cards, but greater than that, uh, and I sold quite a bit. It was just a good show, just good energy. People were excited, and but the best part about it was just hanging out with all the guys. So uh, that's that. Hope everybody's doing well. Sorry for the longer video, and um, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I'll put everybody's information down below, and uh, I just hope everybody's doing well, man. Peace.